Welcome to the video assembly instructions for the Halo countertop cart. Before getting started, make sure everything is accounted for. One countertop assembly with latches. One countertop panel. One left outer leg long. One left outer leg short. One left inner leg long. One left inner leg short. One right inner leg long. One right inner leg short. One right outer leg long. One right outer leg short. One front panel with logo. One rear brace with tank support bracket. One front brace with foot rest pad. Two casters. Two casters with locks. Four leg caps. One tank retention wire. 26 M6 by 14 screws. 14 M4 by 12 screws. Four magnetic tool hooks. Two 8 mm pitted pins. Two M6 knobs with threaded shafts. Four M6 shoulder screws. Two leg bushings. One 17 mm caster wrench. Two cotter pins. Two flat washers. Parts are located throughout the box, including inside the drawer. If any items are missing or damaged, do not attempt to assemble. Contact Halo customer service for replacement parts or general assistance. Throughout the assembly, we will refer to parts by their assigned numbers located on yellow stickers. Do not remove these stickers until assembly is complete. A number two Phillips screwdriver is required for this assembly. For best results, do not tighten screws completely until all screws for that step have been inserted by hand. We will start by assembling the legs of the countertop cart. We will begin with the left outer leg. First, find part number three and attach it to part number 3A as shown. Now locate the hardware pack and punch out three M6 by 14 screws from the highlighted compartment here and insert them into the three holes shown here to secure the leg attachment. Next, locate the hardware pack and punch out two shoulder screws from the highlighted compartment here and insert them into the two holes on part number three shown here. Last, locate one leg cap and insert it into the top of the leg shown here. Make sure the holes in the cap line up with the holes in the leg before inserting. Finally, use a number two Phillips screwdriver to securely tighten the screws we just inserted. The left outer leg should now be fully assembled as shown. We will now assemble the left inner leg. First, find part number four and attach it to part number four A as shown. Now locate the hardware pack and punch out three M6 by 14 screws from the highlighted compartment here and insert them into the three holes shown here to secure the second leg attachment. Last, locate one leg cap and insert it into the top of the leg shown here. Make sure the holes in the cap line up with the holes in the leg before inserting. Finally, use a number two Phillips screwdriver to securely tighten the screws we just inserted. We will now connect both legs together. First, locate both left legs and face them together as shown with leg number four on bottom and leg number three on top. Next, locate the hardware pack and punch out one leg bushing from the highlighted compartment here and place it between the two left legs, lining up with the holes shown here. Last, locate the hardware pack and punch out one M6 knob from a highlighted compartment here and insert it through leg number three, through the leg bushing, then through leg number four, as shown here. Finally, tighten the M6 knob by hand until it will no longer tighten. The legs might feel loose, but this is normal. You have now completed setting up the left legs of the countertop cart. Now we will set them aside and do the same assembly with the right legs. We will begin with the right outer leg. First, find part number six and attach it to part number six A, as shown. Now locate the hardware pack and punch out three M6 by 14 screws from the highlighted compartment here and insert them into the three holes shown here to secure the leg attachment. Next, locate the hardware pack and punch out two shoulder screws from the highlighted compartment here and insert them into the two holes on part number five shown here. Last, locate one leg cap and insert it into the top of the leg shown here. Make sure the holes in the cap line up with the holes in the leg before inserting. Finally, use a number two Phillips screwdriver to securely tighten the screws we just inserted. The right outer leg should now be fully assembled as shown. We will now assemble the right inner leg. First, find part number five and attach it to part number five A as shown. Now locate the hardware pack and punch out three M6 by 14 screws from the highlighted compartment here and insert them into the three holes shown here to secure the second leg attachment. Last, 
Locate the hardware pack and punch out one leg cap from the highlighted compartment here and insert it into the top of the leg shown here. Make sure the holes in the cap line up with the holes in the leg before inserting. Finally, use the number 2 Phillips screwdriver to securely tighten the screws we just inserted. We will now connect both legs together. First, take both right legs and face them together, as shown, with leg number 5 on bottom and leg number 6 on top. Next, locate the hardware pack and punch out one leg bushing from the highlighted compartment here and place it between the two right legs, lining up with the holes shown here. Last, locate the hardware pack and punch out one M6 knob from the highlighted compartment here and insert it through leg number 6, through the leg bushing, then through leg number 5 as shown. Finally, tighten the M6 knob by hand until it will no longer tighten. The legs might feel loose, but this is normal. You have now completed setting up the right legs of the countertop cart. Now we will connect the left and right legs using the rear brace bar. First, stand each leg up in an X formation as shown, facing each other with the knobs on the outside. Next, locate part number 8 and place it between the outer legs with the tank support bracket on the right side facing up and the screw holes lining up with the outer legs 3A and 6A. Before inserting the screws, we will first place the tank retention wire. First, locate part number 16 and insert it into the holes located near the top of the inner legs, as shown. Make sure the squiggly end of the wire lines up with the tank support bracket on the rear brace below it. Next, we will secure the rear brace. Locate the hardware pack and punch out 6M6 by 14 screws from the highlighted compartment here and insert them by hand into the end plates shown here. Last, use a number 2 Phillips screwdriver to securely tighten the screws we just inserted. The tank support bracket and tank retention wire will now work together to enable a 20-pound propane tank to be mounted to your countertop cart when fully assembled. The rear brace should now be secured to the back legs. We will now secure the front brace to the inner legs. First, locate part number 10 and place it between the bottom inner legs as shown with the footress pad facing up. Next. Locate the hardware pack and punch out four M6 by 14 screws from the highlighted compartment here and insert them by hand into the end plates shown here. Last, use a number two Phillips screwdriver to securely tighten the screws we just inserted. The front and rear braces should now be installed, as well as the tank retention wire. We will now install a front panel. First, locate part number seven. This part has the Halo branding and should be facing out as shown. Next. Locate the screw holes on the outer left and right sides of the inner legs and match them up with the screw holes on the left and right sides of the panel. Last, locate the hardware pack and punch out four M6 by 14 screws from the highlighted compartment here and insert them by hand into the aligned holes shown here. Finally, use a number two Phillips screwdriver to securely tighten the screws we just inserted. The card should now be fully assembled. We will now set it aside to assemble the countertop. We will begin with installing the magnetic tool hooks. First, flip the countertop upside down with the bottom of the drawer facing up as shown. Next, locate the hardware pack and punch out all four magnetic tool hooks from the highlighted compartment here and line them up to the screw holes located on the left and right edges of the countertop as shown. Last, locate the hardware pack and punch out 8 M4 by 12 screws from the highlighted compartment here and insert two of them by hand into each of the hooks to secure them to the countertop as shown. Finally, use a number two Phillips screwdriver to securely tighten the screws we just inserted. We will now connect the cart we set aside to the countertop. First, flip your fully assembled cart upside down and place it into the slots of the countertop as shown. Make sure the outer legs are placed near the front of the drawer and the inner legs are placed near the back. Next, locate the rubber latches near the magnetic tool hooks and secure them to the shoulder screws on the cart, as shown. Next, locate the hardware pack and punch out two 8mm pitted pins from the highlighted compartment here and insert them through the back legs of the cart, as shown here. Next, locate the hardware pack and punch out two flat washers and two cotter pins. These will be used to secure the pitted pins we just inserted. Open the drop-down drawer to access the pivot pins. Place a flat washer over the pin, then pred the bottom of the cotter pin through the pivot pinhole. Make sure to push the cotter pin until it snaps into the middle notch, as shown. Do this for both pivot pins before closing the drop-down drawer. 
We will now install the countertop panel. First, flip the entire unit on its side as shown. Next, locate part number 1A and place it on top of the countertop. Make sure the flat side is facing up and the side with screw bolts is facing down as shown. Last, locate the hardware pack and punch out 6 M4 by 12 screws from the highlighted compartment here and insert them by hand into the screw holes located on the left and right sides of the countertop. This will secure the top panel to the countertop. Finally, use a number two Phillips screwdriver to securely tighten the screws we just inserted. Once the panel is secure, flip the entire countertop cart upside down as shown. We will now complete the final step of the assembly by installing the casters into the feet of the cart. There should be two casters of locks and two casters without locks. For best results, we recommend installing the casters with locks into the front feet and the casters without locks in the back feet. Last, locate the hardware pack and punch out the caster wrench from the highlighted compartment here. Use the caster wrench to securely tighten each wheel as shown. Congratulations! You have completed the video assembly instructions for the Halo countertop cart. You may now begin use. Again, if any parts are missing or damaged contact Halo customer service for replacement parts or general assistance.